possibility. In other words, we just need to make Quinn realize that this time is different. For example, by sending him a little gift. Even Quinn would notice the difference a gift would bring. But what kind of gift? That's what I think. Everyone has their preferences, so it's important to choose the right gift if you want to get through to- If it were me, I'd want roses. As for you, honorary knight, hmm, I bet you like handmade things. Oh, yes, I- I just wanted to try thinking from a different perspective. Hmm, Quinn, what kind of gift would he like? If I remember correctly, isn't Quinn one of the four drunkards of Mon- Perhaps something wine-related would do. Hmm. Well, simply thinking- Let's go to Marjorie's store and see what's available. Welcome to with- And what wind brought the two of you together? Well, when Noelle's working, she practically always takes care of things. And once she's finished with A, it's straight off to take care of B. Say, Noelle, you're not a child anymore, you know? If you don't take time out for yourself, you may come- I, um, decided to take a break today, but something came up. Oh? So it's a day off with the honorary night? Oh, how wonderful! That's something to celebrate. You must be here to pick out a gift for the honorary night. Choose anything you like. We have a lot that might tickle your fancy. Aw, so shy. No use denying it, though. Stop teasing! Me and the honorary knight don't have that kind of relationship. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I guess. After all, Noelle here is the type that needs a push every now and again. But looks like she's still in the dark when it comes to these things. I shouldn't let such things distract me from my chivalric training. Yes, there are too many important things to take care of. Okay, okay, no more teasing. So, so, you're choosing a gift for B to give to Quinn. In that case, I have a couple of fun new things in stock. A frostening bottle and a squirrel wood carving. The frostening bottle is very useful to keep alcohol cold and fresh for a long time. As for the squirrel wood carving, well, it's a nice ornament, and it would look great at Quinn's stall. So, bottle or ornament? Which will it be? Hmm, I'm a little worried that Quinn might just throw a wood carving in a drawer and forget about it. To be on the safe side, how about we give him the frost- As one of the four drunkards, he sh- So frostening bottle it is? Oh. <sighs> Okay, now that the gift is wrapped, let's hurry back and give it to B. Huh? Give the- It does look like some- Wait, wait. Maybe I can use the gift as bait. I could say that if he wants to- Thank you both so much with his gift- Uh-huh. Is that how gifts work? Well, as long as it helps. <sighs> Oh no! What's wrong? The gift? Is there something wrong with the gift? No, no, it's... N I've been so focused on convincing Quinn, I hadn't even thought about where our date's gonna be! I've never gotten to that stage! Noelle, could you help me? <sighs> A date should be... Just, uh, Leave it to me! A date? Hmm... We'll need a place with pleasant scenery and a quiet atmosphere. Let's look around. If we see anywhere good, let's take a picture and let B have the final say. Oh, there's a beautiful and touching tale about Kate Both. Maybe that would be a good spot. <laughs>
Falcon Coast from here. Such a beautiful view. Let's find a good angle and take a picture. Head to Star Snatch Cliff next. Star Snatch. <laughs> Get a picture from the top. I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl. Now, one more option. <laughs> did you find? Cape Oath. As in, maybe taking... You can see the sea from there, right? I... Well, what do you think about Windrise? 
May your love be as free as a dandelion. Windrise? Hmm, that's a great location, but... Huh? C well, old folks are always going on about something symbolic about that place. Besides, we've been there so many times when we were young. It just feels like there's nothing special or new about it. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm going with Kaboth. Thanks so much. I'm off to find Quinn. <sighs> Quinn. I wonder what kind of... Uh, is Windrise no longer popular? <sighs> but the book said that it was the most popular place in Mondstadt. Uh, I'm not sure. I found it while cleaning a corner of the library. It was the story of Windrise and Lady Vanessa. I thought folks in Mondstadt would still like to go there. Huh? You wanna go to Windrise? Oh, okay. Follow me. Today's recommendation is the steak. <laughs> Refreshes you in an instant. Forget about training and work. Just breathe and feel the wind. <sighs> That's true. But training and work are still the things I need to focus on. If I didn't take them seriously, I wouldn't be a reliable maid. Put it this way Lady Vanessa. And Master Jean, the responsibilities they carry, that they carried, those are the heaviest. I know I have a lot to live up to. That's why I want to become a real Knight of Favonius. To help more people. R really? Thank you. If you weren't here today, I wouldn't have been able to help B. It's just a small token of appreciation, but I hope you'll accept it. Roses are my favorite flower. This is a paper one that I folded by hand. Of course. In Mondstadt, roses represent the saying, As wine bottles are corked, so too my lips are sealed. I have seen and learned a lot during our time together. It will become a wonderful memory. One that I will savor again and again. I want it to remain in my heart and become a secret between the two of us. Ah, <sighs> Wait, do you mean that roses have some meaning that I don't know about? Oh, I'll need to go back to the library and find out. Still, whatever a rose means, I hope that this one can stay by your side in all your future adventures. Before I'm able to fight alongside you, honorary knight. I created another universe and founded paradise, for I... Fischl, and the Princessin de Fert... 